What's up, Smart Homers? My name's Aaron. In this video, I want to show you why I absolutely love the Amcrest 8410 video doorbell and how easy it is to integrate in Home Assistant. I'm not going to go into an in-depth review of its camera quality and the other features it has, but I'm mainly going to focus on how you can integrate it with Home Assistant. The AD410 is a 4 megapixel 2K camera with a 2560 by 1920 resolution. It has a wide dynamic range option for high contrast situations and records at 15 frames per second. It has a 164 degree field of view and it features two-way audio as well as 16 foot night vision. It has human detection as well as regular motion detection and it supports real-time streaming protocol. It has a micro SD card for onboard storage and it'll even work with your existing doorbell wiring and your existing doorbell chime. Installing this doorbell is super easy. A mounting bracket and some plastic wedges are provided to give you a solid mount as well as a good angle for the doorbell camera. As part of the chime kit, there's two wires that need to be added to your existing doorbell chime to get it to work with this doorbell. After that, the two wires that connected to your old doorbell will connect to the back of this new doorbell. Follow the steps in the app for setting up the device. One of the steps requires you to set up a password. Remember this password because we're gonna need this password in Home Assistant when we integrate it. Once your device is all set up in the app, tap on the device and then tap the settings gear in the corner. Then tap device information and here you'll find the device IP address. You're gonna need this IP address for the Home Assistant integration, so write it down. I also recommend setting this IP address as a static IP address on your router so it doesn't get changed on you. Okay, now it's time to integrate. To integrate this doorbell in Home Assistant, we're gonna use a custom integration in the Home Assistant Community Store that is made for Dahua cameras and video doorbells. As I understand it, some Amcrest cameras and video doorbells are just rebranded Dahua products, or they at least share the exact same firmware. This means that the Dahua integration can work with these Amcrest products. In Home Assistant, head to the Home Assistant Community Store, Hacks, and click Integrations. Next, click Explore and Add Repository in the bottom corner. Then type Dahua into the search box. Click install to install the custom integration and then restart Home Assistant when the installation is complete. Once restarted, head to configuration, integrations, and then click add integration. Search for the Dahua integration that you just added and click on it. If you don't see the Dahua integration listed here, you may need to clear your browser's cache and reopen Home Assistant. During the setup process, you're gonna be asked to fill in a few different fields. First, for the username, put in admin. Fill in the password that you set up in the Amcrest app for your doorbell, and then put your doorbell's IP address in the address field. Leave the port, RTSP port, and RTSP streamed alone. For events, click the dropdown to view the different options. Not all of these events are gonna work with the AD410, so we need to select the events that are supported by this doorbell. Select Video Motion and Smart Motion Human. Click Submit and then give the doorbell a name and then click Submit again. Once you've successfully added it, we can now take a look at the entities that are gonna show up in Home Assistant. Based on the different events that you selected during the setup process, you're gonna have a different number of entities, but if you selected the events that I did, you're gonna have nine entities in Home Assistant. However, we're only going to use six of these entities. The rest of them don't seem to be functional because this integration is still in development. The entities that we're going to use are the camera entity, motion detection switch, the infrared light entity, the motion detection sensor, the human detection sensor, and the call no answered sensor. So let me quickly explain how these entities work. The camera entity acts like a normal camera entity in Home Assistant, allowing you to view the live feed from the camera doorbell. Next, let's look at the binary sensors. As I mentioned before, this integration is still in development, so not all the entities are gonna work and some of them are gonna act in unexpected ways. I'm gonna go over the entities that are currently working right now, but this may change as this 
integration is developed further. The button pressed sensor is supposed to activate when the doorbell button is pressed. Unfortunately, this sensor doesn't work at all, but the call no answered sensor does change state when the doorbell is pressed, going from clear to detected. To deal with this, you could just rename the call no answered sensor to something like doorbell button if you wanted, or you could create a template sensor to convert this call no answered sensor to a button press sensor. Either way, you could use this entity to trigger custom automations and scripts. The doorbell motion alarm sensor activates when the doorbell sees motion. The zones and the sensitivity for this sensor are set up in the Amcrest app and cannot be changed in Home Assistant. This sensor can be useful for things like turning on lights, playing sounds, or triggering notifications when motion is detected. The smart motion human sensor is activated when it detects a human rather than just motion in front of the doorbell. I thought this would be nice because I wouldn't be getting notified every time the 5,000 cats in our neighborhood walk by our front door, but it actually did pick up a few cats, which is kind of disappointing. As I mentioned before, the other binary sensors that I tried, and I even activated all the events that were possible, did not seem to work and really don't apply to this camera apparently. Not only do they serve no function, but I don't even see any options in the Amcrest app that correspond to those entities. For this reason, I'm just using these three sensors and I'm ignoring the rest. Okay, so now let's look at the switch and light entities. The motion detection switch entity gives you the ability to turn on and off motion detection. For example, maybe you don't want the doorbell to sense all motion because cars are driving by or whatever, but you just want it to sense when there's a human walking by. You could schedule the motion detection to be on at some times during the day or just turn on when you leave the house. The infrared light entity gives you the ability to turn on and off the camera's infrared light at any time in Home Assistant. I haven't thought of any cool uses for this switch, but if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Another way that you could integrate this doorbell into Home Assistant is using an app called Amcrest to MQTT. I tried to use this method, but I could not get it to work. I don't know enough about Docker containers to even want to mess with this, so I decided to drop it, and it was a lifesaver when I found this Dahua integration. Anyway, if you already bought an Amcrest 8410, I hope this video helps you set it up in Home Assistant easily. And if you haven't bought one, I hope this makes you consider buying one and shows you how much I love this doorbell. The fact that this doorbell can locally integrate with Home Assistant and exposes both the motion and the human detection in Home Assistant is awesome. It doesn't require any kind of hub or anything like that. It's just straight Wi-Fi, and it does include onboard storage. The only downside I would say is that that onboard storage is outside the house stored in your doorbell. If you're interested in buying this doorbell, feel free to use the affiliate link that I put in the description for this doorbell. Also, I'll be doing more guide videos like this, as well as home assistant automation ideas and product reviews. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.